go through that in fast forward and delete. I think I'm developing Marlon Brando disease where I can't stop eating. And there's something really wrong with me. I told you I think I have worms. In yeah, my Marlon stomach. Brando also blamed worms. <laughs> I have that thing from Dune is inside my stomach. Right. It's also, you, you know, what you're de- you're developing late onset binge eating, which welcome to the club, buddy. I'm glad it finally hit now. Um, but that is a binge eating move where you go, I think I have like Marlon Brando disease instead of like, this is how I process stress. Yeah, it is funny that you <laughs> act, you already had the baby, you act pregnant. <laughs> you're like eating like ice cream. You're like, I just need it. I just, I'm feeding two people now. <laughs> I think I have a... Uh... What's it called when you think you have a disease someone else has? Because they're Munchausens. Yeah, kinda... you have you have munching chausens. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> he's eating a lot. I very good, very uh, good. My wife, uh, she has to produce milk out of her tits. Mm, right. For hell the, yeah, for the baby to suck the milk out of. Right. right. And you're trying to mix next quick with it. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, yeah. I'm putting a little Nesquik quick chocolate packets in my wife's mouth. <laughs> and I'm shaking her up and down. Uh, uh, so she gets hungry a lot because she's actually her body is like it's a I Love Lucy like chocolate factory scene mm-hmm. but with milk like mm-hmm. it's crazy mm-hmm. how much milk she has to make for this fat bastard. Mm. Your baby is like fucking like Lilo and Stitch just like sucking down milks. Dude, it's crazy. I I gave her a bottle for the first time and she like almost ripped it out of my hand like <laughs> like Jaws. Like I swear to God, I was like, oh hey, and to grab it again. It was impressive. Everyone thinks our baby is about eight or nine months old. Yeah. Because it's so big. Your mm-hmm. baby does look like the Malaysian kid that can't stop smoking cigarettes. <laughs> hey, your baby looks like Kim Jong-un a little bit. <laughs> She's so fucking cute. And then we, now we so put her up, we dress her up in all the Bucky's outfits now. Too, I know. Which kicks ass. It is pretty great. And she looks like the average Bucky's <laughs> uh, <laughs> patron. <laughs> No, she's so she is so adorable though. Yeah, she really is. But she is even like just tall. She's so fucking tall. Ninety seven percentile for height. She's yeah. huge. She's a big fucking kid. I know, man. I look at her and I just I keep picturing just be playing center for LSU. <laughs> That's gonna roll. She, yeah, I think ben, she ben will ha- be an athlete. Ben having to hang out with that girl, Angel Reese. Yeah. <laughs> ben at, at like 50 being like, all right, I, you guys had swagger out there. You swagger jacked up. I didn't like how much you taunted the other team, but, you know. A lot of showboating stuff, but I guess, you know, that's what you kids do. Did you see the guy who went, uh, the dad who went viral? Because his daughter is like this little blonde thing with tits. And, uh, Wait, what? <laughs> what? what? A girl? Yeah, his daughter's this little blonde thing with tits. She's like probably like 21. Little blonde thing with tits. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, thought you, I thought you were saying it was a baby he gave implants no. and a wig yeah. to. No, no, no. His, I'm talking about his grown-up daughter. Okay. His grown-up daughter has huge tits and nice no, hair. No, no, no. She's just a white lady with tits. Okay. You just see her. Okay, now I'm listening. It makes sense. You have, you hate blonde hair tits. Okay, what, what cup like, size? Yeah. Oh, like the tits are like they're whatever. They kind of suck. What a so fucking you just go bitch. blonde tits. Whatever. It is funny. It's like how a rapper describes a snow bunny. He's like, it's some little blonde thing with tits. I fucked last night. Like, give she me, is, a, give me a chick with the pussy. She is a snow bunny. I'd have been fucking these blonde chicks with tits. <laughs> they look at me like a zoo exhibit. I'd be fucking these snow bunnies. She's dating this uh, guy who's running a forty. He's a uh, African guy, big black guy. And I think he's going in the NFL. Mm. Uh-huh. And I thought you meant 40 ounces, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> he's running the old English. And uh, so they're all, she's filming herself for this TikTok and her whole family is behind her. It's like dad, short Joe Rogan guy. Sure. White family, you know, loser, retard. The dad looks like he rode in on Seabiscuit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Loser, retard brother wearing the hoodie. Of course. Like, complete dipshit. Yeah. Course. 17 Reeks. year old, worthless. No, I was hate just it. masturbating Reeks in the bathroom. Of cum. Has shitty Achilles at 17. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and the mom who drives drunk every night to 7 mm-hmm. Eleven. To a son who's jacking off so much, it's like cut off the circulation mm-hmm. to his yeah. like hamstrings. Yeah. And then the, the white Boone's Farm wine wife. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. lady who drinks wine from the fucking gas station. Yeah. yeah. A like lady a who, t- who takes yeah. enough Xanax to kill little peep. Yeah. Yeah. Drinks boxed wine. Anyway, they're watching like the fake ESPN that isn't real. At the the ESPN that shows all the sports that aren't football and like it's the all white ESPN. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're they're watching the ESPN that usually is play uh, showing like backgammon and yeah. shit. The highlights are four minutes long. <laughs> yes, it exactly. goes straight to a magic bullet commercial. They're showing the the black guy run the forty, uh-huh. and they're filming. They're showing the, the 
him and they're showing the white family. Right. And uh, I didn't know the dad would be on board because this is her, uh, the daughter's boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Right? And he's like so into it. He's like, whoa! <laughs> oh, I've seen Let's fucking go! I saw it. Let's fucking go! I'm like, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. that dude well, fucks your daughter he, raw every he, night. He does he, four he, to five He goes, hours. that's my meal ticket, brother! Because <laughs> that guy's going in the NFL, right? He's yeah. going to make a shitload of money. Yes. Mm-hmm. So he's you excited. Fucker, good. That's, yeah. the, that's like a scene, like a deleted scene from The Blind Side. Yeah. He's like, honey, there's a gold mine in this big black cock. <laughs> you take that BBC and you make me a little nest egg. Woo-hoo! He's running with that third leg. <laughs> you guys know what the video is called so I can look it up? Um, I don't know. No. He's like, run, you son of a bitch. It's like you're going to run out of my daughter's <laughs> life one day. <laughs> That's why he cheers. He thinks she's, he's leaving <laughs> very, very quickly. Yeah, he's watching the combine through blinds. <laughs> he put blinds over the TV, and he's like, oh. Right yeah, there. You see the guy ride the 40, and a security patrol car pulls up alongside him. <laughs> what are you doing here? What's going on? This is a nice neighborhood. Dude, I don't even know what to type in on Twitter. For, maybe 40-yard dash dad. I think it was a 40-yard. Well, yeah, that's what they're doing. Forty yard dash. Can you put like? Dad? I think it's, it's that guy. It's literally Xavier Worthy. It's that, it's that guy, guy. But, but they're not showing the dad at home. Like, getting are they way showing too it excited. if it continues? Uh, no, hold on, I'll find her TikTok. Fuck, real there was quick. some like racist, uh, like there was like a racist black guy account that I was like watching. Yeah, that go he to, posted it. Go to Camilla's likes yeah. and we'll find it. <laughs> it was some. It was like a black dude that pose that hates black people that posted it. Mm. I'll type in uh, Xavier Worthy girlfriend, maybe. Yeah, Xavier Worthy girlfriend, family, family, family. Yeah, his family's not popping. I up. actually, I thought it was very wholesome. I, I like enjoyed the footage, and I thought it was like it was like very nice. Nah, Devin, it's sick. It seemed it seemed like they actually are excited for him to me, yep. and I thought that it felt like a Remember the Titans scene. <laughs> Modern Remember the Titans. It felt like it could end racism. Mm-hmm. To yeah, me. He, it, it's the dad going to his 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 daughter in the hospital because he fucked her <laughs> so hard she's paralyzed. <laughs> He's like, you're supposed to be Superman. You're my Superman. <laughs> you're not supposed to get fucked to death by DK Metcalf. Hold on, I might have DM'd it in one of my like racist group chats real quick. Yeah, but, yeah. Just bleep, bleep out all these extremely racist <laughs> memes you guys sent. Uh, scrolling just past fat guys yeah, and squash <laughs> Fat guy, kid in blackface, Burt Kreischer. Your latte art. Your latte art. <laughs> I suck ass. Yeah, this is it, isn't it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, okay. here we go. Here, so we are going to go down. Look at that. That's his. That's his girlfriend. Look at that snow bunny. See, like, like I said, it's a, it's a blonde girl with tits. This literally looks like what black people think white people look like. Mm-hmm. It, it, that it, is a Anglican woman. That's a Star Trek white woman. <laughs> uh-huh. Straight up B. Straight up B. All right. Shit. Let's start the shit at the beginning. All right. Superimpose it. Okay. okay. Suck little Wayne, little dick. <laughs> and my boyfriend is doing it this year, so. We are going to go downstairs and watch. He's going to be running his 40 today. and the That's the bedroom he fucks yeah. her in. <laughs> that she's like, she's she's at the combine and she's knitting holes into a condom. See, <laughs> <laughs> so like, worthless retard brother who sucks ass. Mm-hmm. Guy whose whole personality is he goes to the gym, sucks yeah. ass. Yeah. Mom, that gets, I hope the dad beats the shit out of her in the garage mm-hmm. and says oh, it's out. all your fault. Oh, he's out, dude. Oh, he's out. Yes! Let's go! Where's my wallet? <laughs> you know they had to you know they had to retrain that dog when it started when yeah. they started dating the daughter. That is the one! Let's fucking go! I knew he was out of Okay. The dad's way too into it though. He's like crying. Yeah, that's insane. The dad's like crying. That's kind of beautiful though. Look <laughs> at him go. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, in an Eagles sh- shirt is kind of insane. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. It is a meal ticket. You, he could be watching tape of mm-hmm. them, of her, his daughter getting like, no, mm-hmm. like ran a train. He might as her. well be looking at like Bitcoin right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a ticker tape. There's stock ticker tape coming out of his daughter's pussy. Yeah, and he's seeing it rise. He's like I, Nas. I love Nas deck. <laughs> Oh, I love that you get fucked by one of the X-Men. I think that's beautiful. 
Yeah, good for that family. You know, they deserve it. Yeah, but you you are you are touching on a point, Ben. You're not even like doing like a racial thing, no. but there there is no. a moment if you're that girl's father where she's like, I'm bringing home my boyfriend. I want you to meet him, and then you meet him, and you instinctively like. Man, that guy's fucking the shit out of my daughter. Fuck, that sucks. And, and he has the physique of an orakai. Yes. In Lord of the Rings. Yes, literally like doing missionary, but like going up onto his hands and feet to get his huge dick mm-hmm. in and out of your daughter. Here's the thing. All of these relationships eventually become ruined because the, the, play, the, the boyfriend mm-hmm. is playing a game and he overhears the family go, That's right, boy! <laughs> They hear he hears boy and he goes, "What am I? What am I doing? I mean, I had right. fun with your fucking blonde white whore daughter, but yeah. I don't want to be called boy while I, I play." They let one slip and they go, "You played a con picking good game," <laughs> <laughs> and they go, "Oh, I'm sorry. I meant it was good. Don't worry, we got we got Wood Ranch coming to the house tonight on Postmates. It's okay." Please don't leave. <laughs> Please don't leave. Please don't leave the family. <laughs> if I have to work 10 more years, I'm going to kill myself. Please, you're all I have. I haven't gotten this much merch sent to me in my whole fucking life. Yeah, please just come in my daughter one last time. Just roll those dice, baby. I don't care you play for Jacksonville. I love the merch. It says NFL official apparel. I got, to, I got to meet Cam Newton one time, and he was dressed gay as fuck. I love NFL official apparel. It's over. You can throw around like Ray Ross. I don't care. Oh, no. Bounce her head off an elevator keypad. Yeah, was, that dad man, I'll say this. Couldn't be me. Yeah. It is funny. Couldn't be me. All you'd, these, be in the, you'd be in the back booing. It is, yeah, I would. It is funny. Every NFL relationship. Or a lot of these guys, like it's like it's Dasha with Ed Reed. Mm-hmm. It's 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 it looks like one of the girls from Red Scare with a strong safety. Some of them every hate time, they every hate time, they do. I think they like it. They like the Sailor Moon body. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you really are just keeping. You have a worm. <laughs> Thank you. You're dying. Thank you. Yeah. I think I, you're dying. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think I look good. <laughs> I, I, I think I think this is the worst I've ever seen you. Yeah. <laughs> you have a big worm and you're controlling your brain. I think you've been <laughs> off all day since I watched you walk into the house. Uh, you've been a weird <laughs> amalgamation of memories of yourself. Whatever, <laughs> man. Couldn't be me. I don't know what you're up to tonight. No. Couldn't be me. No daughter of mine's marrying a running back for the Texas Longhorns. I'll tell you running that Running backs not even matter anymore. Second. Yeah, really? you, don't, you don't want a running no back. No one cares about running backs yeah, yeah, anymore. They, they, running backs are like white now. Yeah, running backs earn, earn like $25 now. Yeah, that right. is true. <laughs> running backs don't give... Nobody cares running, about running backs. Running backs have to Postmates in the offseason with their CTE. <laughs> yeah. Where's, it is actually a shame. Where's the money at being like a white wide receiver? Being well, like Jason Shipley or you, something? You're, you're a goddamn quarterback. Goddamn quarterback, uh, for sure. A for star wide receiver. Wide receivers are always hot the in the streets. I remember we we beat State in '92. I remember when he fucked my daddy. Remember when he fucked my daddy? And I listened to the thin walls in my home. I remember my daddy was gang raped by Evelyn Christian. Best day. The whole team yeah, ran a train The Eddie. whole team ran a train on Kelsey Lynn yeah. back in 95. <laughs> the best <laughs> night of my life. Then you there once stay there at my daddy. She came home and I, I tell you, I I grabbed the cum out of her pussy and I put it in a, in a cryo chamber. <laughs> Cause I knew that was some talent to come. You see that state championship <laughs> ring to that what, Jim? See, I got to put the cum in the. I got <laughs> this for my daddy get raped by Midland Christian. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching. He's they, watching. They won his, the rape championship. Yeah, he's watching his daughter get fucked. He goes north and south, up the middle, <laughs> stop all this fancy <laughs> shit. God damn it. Well, oh, damn it, you're forgetting about the blind side. Her labia is torn to shit. <laughs> the 
the rootin' tootin' raping raiders. The rootin' tootin' detective rapers. Yeah, Nick Sa- Nick Saban's in the bedroom going, "God damn it, Tyrone! Eat her pussy, damn it!" <laughs> Throwing his headset. It's it's really not a race thing for me, by the way. It's just like no what? daughter of mine is marrying a seven foot one, a huge guy with a a cock the size of a Buick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't allow that to happen under my roof. Because they do age quicker the longer the dick. Mm-hmm. There is, is something about it, it where is, it man. like fucks wrinkles into them. It's bad for life expectancy. It turns them into an old leather couch. <laughs> no, you're right, Devin. I'm worried about her health. You, you care about her health. Well, it's, it's like chronic. I tell you, boy, I tell <laughs> My daughter, Mary Lou Lynn Jasmine Kelsey. It's not taking the chronic stress of a giant bad cat. <laughs> She's going to marry a lineman, a nice white lineman whose balls are bigger than his dick. I tell you, my daughter was with Indomitian Sue. He stepped on her <laughs> neck every night. He cleaned her pussy to shit. He cleaned her right out. That big black son of a bitch. <laughs> I go, your, your horse. <laughs> your horse collar the ass, huh, you son of a bitch. How you going to do a horse collar when you got a horse cock? He blew out my daughter's pussy, blew out her ACL in her pussy. Mm-hmm. It's a damn shame. The that's, ve- that's the thing, you fuck on turf. <laughs> you fuck on turf, you get those that, injuries. That boy Beth is shepherd in her pussy. <laughs> he lay right there on Bob Dwyer. He dragged her pussy from the back of a truck all the way to West Texas. <laughs> Where they play that Midland Texas, Lebanon Texas football. (laughs) 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 That pussy's got CTE. (laughs) A damn clip shot itself in the head. That pussy can't remember one fuck from the other. I tell you. That pussy is torn to shit. It's torn to shit, boy, I tell you what. That pussy shot itself in the labia to preserve its clit <laughs> so it could be studied by science because her clit's all fucked up in the head. That big guy from the Hall of Fame comes in, that 6'9 guy, he goes, I'd like to welcome your pussy to the Hall of Fame today. <laughs> This white woman's pussy was fucked by more black cock. Her pussy was buried with Junior (laughs) Seau. Yeah, Joe Buck. To the climax, the climax, (laughs) she came. She came again. There really does need to be a Hall of Fame for, like, white women that got fucked by, like, really famous black guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like Nicole Brown Simpson? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I mean, what obviously. If, what if? What if she was? What if? What if he didn't even kill her? <laughs> he just fucked her so hard. Her, her he, head fell yeah. off. <laughs> he face fucked her so hard it it cut her whole neck open. <laughs> he fucked her so hard it like broke the sound barrier <laughs> and it chopped her head off and Ron Goldman's. Yeah. <laughs> he fucked. Yeah. He, he fucked her so hard his dick went through her neck into Ron Goldman's stomach. <laughs> Did he kill Ron? <laughs> did he kill Ron Goldman because he's just Jewish? Like, he what kill, was the whole deal? He killed him because he thought he was gay. Yeah, you know, OJ was real pro Palestine. Yeah, and <laughs> the, no, whole, the he, whole thing with him being in the Ford Bronco never made any damn bit of sense to me. What are you talking and, about? What? How did that make sense to you? you what do you know? think he should be in a damn Escalade huh? or something? What's what wrong with you? He's, he's not. He's not black. He's OJ. <laughs> <laughs> The, the whole damn thing never made any sense to me, you know. What are you talking How about? How so? Explain. Uh, everybody, the whole, every, the whole black community thought the guy was innocent, and cl- the guys that clearly like very guilty. I didn't understand the whole thing. They at all. here's the thing. Here was here's what was so funny about yeah. that is that the the black black people kick so much ass. They're so funny. Yeah. They knew he did it. Yes. <laughs> they, this every is... single black person knew he yes. did it. What they were just like, then? "Go fuck yourself, white people." And this is how retarded white people are. Is that a black guy? Be like he innocent as hell, <laughs> and they go, "No, he is not." 
How yep. dare you say that to me? That was the funniest thing that ever happened. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry they had to die for like a big moment to happen. But like, dude, that footage of that dude in Times Square going like, "You a bad motherfucker, Johnny." You a bad motherfucker, Johnny. I don't think I've seen that. Dude, th- when he gets off, there's mm-hmm. the footage of all over America of people watching the verdict yeah, come yeah. in. Oh, and there's nice. a black dude in Times Square and he and everyone there's white women crying and black people going crazy and there's this black dude that's like kind of just like neutral but he's just like you a bad motherfucker, Johnny. You a bad motherfucker. Like it's so funny. Yeah. I mean, everything about the case is funny. It's just the fact great. that, that OJ got off and then he tried to go to a country club. They wouldn't have him. Yeah. So he tried to get embraced by the black community. He went to a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and freaked out because they, it was too black. <laughs> he left. He literally walked in. He's like, get those ends out of my fucking car. God Dude, damn it. When he drove home and everyone was cheering him on, he goes, what are all these N words doing here? Yeah. He said, who had all these N words in Brentwood? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. It's really beautiful. Yeah. I uh, I watch I I literally watch footage of the verdict coming in like like a couple times a year. It's like it like keeps me going. It's the funniest fucking thing of all time, dude. I need to rewatch OJ Made in America. I, I watched it twice. I need a third. I delivered food to the director of that thing. Really? Yeah. And I because I noticed it on the app and I was like, that's the fucking because I was like I was like I've watched this like three times last night. Mm-hmm. I when I showed up, I literally stopped him at his door. And I was like, listen, man, I know who you are. You directed that OJ documentary. He was like, yes, yes, I did. And I was like, I just want to tell you, like, you, that documentary is so fucking good. It made me happy that bitch died. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, laughed. And I, I handed him a case at the end right. and laughed like a faggot. You're like one of those guys who salutes soldiers at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. I just want to thank you. Thank you so much for your service. For your sir. service, sir. You done. You done saved me and my family from Al Qaeda. Type of guy so retarded. He thinks Eminem was in like the Iraq War. He went over there. He killed Kim. <laughs> thank you, Eminem, <laughs> Private Lieutenant Eminem. <laughs> Hey guys, want to eat amazing food, but don't want to spend forever preparing it? Try Factor. It takes just two minutes. They send chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals right to your door. All you have to do is heat them up. They have dozens of meal options to choose from and more than 60 add-on items to shake things up. Whether you're vegan, vegetarian, counting calories, or keto, Factor has meals you'll love. Uh, Factor has sent us all meals. We've enjoyed them immensely. Ben... Ate his in a couple days. Just wolfed them down. They're incredible. I've had them. They're amazing. They're the best fucking frozen. Or not? Fro- they're not frozen. They're the best food on the go I've ever had in my life. So, guys, pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. Factor works with you and for you. So I need you guys to head to factormeals.com slash lemon 50 and use code lemon 50 to get 50% off. That's code LEMON50 at factormeals.com slash LEMON50 to get 50% off. Thank you, Factor, for sponsoring the show. Now back to the podcast. Thank you. Oh, man. We're all out of fucking wars now. We got nowhere else to go, No, all we do is have proxy wars. We just get to watch another world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm sick of the... Can't we invade Africa and go to war with them or some shit? Can we get the country behind that? You mean Atlanta? (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) Yeah. Also, why why would we invade Africa? We're low on rocks and sticks. Yeah, what do we need? What are we going to get there that's valuable? I'm for drone striking Africa. I mean, what are we going to (laughs) hit? I mean, just what? drop bombs what at the, what the You hell? are really. Not you gonna, are. There's nothing to hit. Do you need more food? There's nothing to hit. You know what? It's it's literally as he eats more, he gets more racist. It's so funny to have a full mouth and shit on Africa. <laughs> Apparently, there's like a part. To- <laughs> that is true. It's like it's like two on the nose for Calvin Candy. There's like all these gay like little. I saw this little British faggot. You see that British faggot do that TED talk where he says Africa is going to be the next world superpower. Oh, that's hilarious. Mm. Well, who who is this? It's just some. Uh, I oh, I'll pull it up. That he's, makes he's no like, sense. So how, how are they the next superpower? Uh, well, they're saying like the the GDP of Africa is growing like crazy and on an mm. exponential. Uh, yeah, it doubled from two to four. What are that, they talking do, about? Do they mean South Africa? Yeah. Uh, Africa next. You type in Africa little faggot. <laughs> <laughs> like however you, oh, yeah. you explain Here, him. Here's the little faggot. Can right I here. can I tell you, Ben? Can you go to his, his body real quick? When you said little faggot, I I tried to picture a little faggot, and this in guy's more of a little faggot. Yeah, this Africa is worse. We'll become a superpower. 
in Welsh. It's a superpower. And you have what ten do you gigs think of oh, when you think fuck of you. Africa? Literally, if you if st- if guys in Africa saw this guy, they'd capture him because they thought he was like a magic <laughs> like creation. <laughs> they think he's a golem created by a witch doctor. I went to the TED talk. And Ron Weasley spoke about Africa he and sp- the GDP. He spoke about Africa. Then he got walked. He walked outside and got his head chopped off by a zombie knife. <laughs> I'm convinced this guy, this is Starvin' Marvin in the Dave Chappelle white guy makeup. It is. This is white Starvin' Marvin. <laughs> they they put a, tur- a tourniquet on his belly uh, to to push down his uh, like bloated stomach. <laughs> this, is, oh, this, this, is, this is the African government. This is the African government trying to get us to invest in Africa. So they sent one guy <laughs> in white face makeup to be like, it is actually good. <laughs> I am a little gay boy and it's good. Yeah, he's going to do this whole thing. He's like, actually, the, the mud... High currency is it's gonna go up in value. All the and actually in the future everybody will want to eat flies. Right. <laughs> actually, we've done studies that AIDS is good. <laughs> there we go. Starving people eating out and living in Ugh. mud huts in great poverty and deprivation. God, bomb fucking England. Jesus Christ. This is like the Greta Thunberg of like Africa. Places. Do you think of European empires? In short, do you think Africa faces serious social and economic difficulties and will always be struggling behind the rest of the world? That vision of Africa Ugh, has geez, some ground Jesus. in reality. What, what was it's that true, voice? I want to throw a boomerang at this kid. And Jesus. Antarctica. Africa is a vast continent, but its countries and people are very poor. 35 of the world's 50 poorest countries are in Africa. What a good little schoolboy. Go up there and sing your song and dance. What a good little boy. Now back to Buckingham Palace to get raped by the Queen. (laughs) So what? The Queen sits on my face forcefully every night. South Africa has 7.1 million people living with HIV AIDS. (laughs) Malaria. <laughs> HIV AIDS. Around 360 million Africans suffering from malaria every year. <laughs> HIV AIDS. <laughs> is Ebola, which broke out uncontrollably. He literally looks like he's in Hogwarts. I know. Over he should be in a Roald doll short story called The Little Boy Who Sucked Ass. Another big thing in Africa's poverty problem. Is the dark history of imperialism. Of course, it's a dark history. Mm. I wonder who century, did that, yeah. bitch. Okay, get to the. Why the, will they be good, though? I know that, like, they have AIDS. No, no, no hold Thanks. on. Yeah. No, you want me to stay there? Okay. You skip to the end, and he's like, and that's why we need to eradicate them. <laughs> we can make it a holy white land. The, the, sun, the sun shall never set on the English <laughs> Empire once more. Out of money and resources, also people. 12 million Africans were taken into slavery and shipped across the Atlantic. Even today, God the damn it. countries are the ones that have the most slaves. Who's to say if that's bad? <laughs> what if? <laughs> what if? <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> which we do not face here in the West. And these contribute to Africa's ongoing poverty. But I want to tell you today that Africa has the resources, the then ability, and fucking and say the it. People to grow into an economic superpower. Here's the thing. Who needs them for Quidditch? (laughs) The broom does all the work. We don't need athletic specimens anymore. Africa Africa also has huge wealth in oil. Is what he says. Nigeria produces more than 2.5... He thinks black people are oil. (laughs) (laughs) The cover is so... (laughs) He goes, these people, they're using up the oil. They're covered in it. Nigeria's oil is worth a lot. (laughs) Oh, Africa already so what have we done? <laughs> what have what have we run? What have we run on this world? Protections in African countries. More and more African children are going back into school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's saying like you know in twenty years like Africans will be like really smart and like yeah. you know. Yeah. This is the weirdest school of rock character I've ever seen. <laughs> The school of cock. <laughs> By the way, he this, sucks. this might be a sixty-three-year-old man. Yeah, it, 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 British people are like that. The strongest man in England. They do be like that, though. They, the English motherfuckers do England, be like that. English motherfuckers do be like that, though. Uh, English motherfuckers be like, he, he, he. Yeah, when you hit puberty, 
mid sentence and shit. See, this is what people say. They go, uh, Ethiopia was the fastest growing economy on earth in the 2010s. It's like, mm. yeah, but they're starting. What from- does that mean? No, that's what I'm literally yeah. saying. Like one to two is double. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's literally like they're like, oh, oh, we opened up, we opened up a Coca Cola vending machine, so the economy's doubled. Like, what are you talking about? Like, they're a great people, a great country, but I mean, you know, no, they're still, they're still so behind. Yeah, I mean, God what clearly are we talking about God clearly hates them. Yeah. He sent nothing but pain and, you know. I mean, if you call a roofer in Africa, doesn't he just show up with a big like like vat of mud? He shows up and he points at the sky, <laughs> and he gives a thumbs up. <laughs> He goes, my job is done. He goes, this guy told me it will not rain on you tonight. There's white losers that go to Africa and they just get yeah. so much pussy. Yeah, but, that's but true. they you have to sh- take prep. You showed us that one time. You showed us one of those white losers. White in Africa. guys go to Africa and they just fuck like African ladies the whole time. Yeah, there's guys on YouTube that have vlogs where they're like, here's my life in Africa. And they have like 14 like beautiful African like wives yeah. with huge undulating swinging uh Dark, beautiful breasts. Yeah. Why, why do they all have breasts like that? By the way, why do they got those like long hanging breasts? I think it's because they're like the they're like the cows of the the nation. I thought it was like they didn't have bras or something. <laughs> they they provide the milk and the the beef. To, to me, isn't it like they make why, tallow? It's why dogs' tits look like that, right? <clears throat> They just don't have bras. I know, but like when a dog's done like feeding puppies, it doesn't have like sagging, hanging tit skin. You know? Oh, they don't. No. I think it might be because they have so many. Like, maybe there's like they have a, they're they're breastfeeding a lot of children, and they just become very saggy over time mm. with the with the. Bre- I don't know. They or- get very big, and the mosquitoes suck all the juice out of them, <laughs> and they get very saggy. I will say, when I was a kid, I actually thought their tits were like that because of the heat. <laughs> you know how like in well, a, you thought the- it's like one of Dolly's clocks. Salvador That's literally Dali. what I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> like, it's so hot, their their bodies are melting and their tits are sagging to their ankles just because they don't have air conditioning. You know what's very funny is I, not the, we're not changing the subject here, but I, I rewatched Knocked Up the Feel other day. Feel free to change it from no, Africa. I'd love to change the subject. Uh, not, I'm definitely not doing it consciously. Um, <laughs> I was watching Knocked Up the other day, right? I haven't seen that mm-hmm. movie in a long time. Classic comedy. It is great. I'm great sure comedy. Judd thinks it sucks now. Of course, way. that's I. I'm watching it, and I'm. I'm. There's so many scenes that I'm enjoying, and I'm. But I'm real. I kept. I kept thinking like, but he must hate this, and you know, Seth oh, Rogen must hate this. I can guarantee you, Judd watches that and whips himself like yes, a belt, hundred percent, like with the Da Vinci Code. So there's a scene when Katherine Heigl is talking about her tits being too big and she doesn't want to be on top of Seth Rogen while they have pregnant sex. And she mm-hmm. goes, I just hate it from him. I'm all, it's all, it's all National Geographic. Yeah. And just a little simple joke Ooh. like that. I was like, oh my God, Ooh. you must want this movie removed from mm. streaming services mm-hmm. for a joke like that. Mm. Because why are you saying that? Because they're long and saggy. Yes. Like we're making a joke about, and which the Lemon Party podcast will get shit for. But I keep, we also keep acting like we'll get shit. No one respect. No one that. Uh, no one that is in any level of. Uh, you know. Yeah. No. Of anything it, cares anybody, about us. But I'm just yeah, saying it was very interesting to me. I'm like, right. we don't exist. We don't exist no, to yeah. anybody. And because you, you, you keep throwing popcorn in your mouth while you record. Right. Because you keep eating like a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn it. When you're not. When you're not throwing it. You're feeding yourself from above like you're a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> and you're swirling like, a tumbler of Coca-Cola, of Diet Coca-Cola. Ben goes to the bars and he goes, my good man, can I have a Coca-Cola Zero? <laughs> uh, <yes. laughs> but but truly, like, like I was watching that mm-hmm. whole movie and that, that scene the most, I was like, oh, interesting. Oh, but there's a million jokes about like, like domestic violence yes. and all sorts of shit. You know, he calls Warner Brothers and he's like, what if every bad joke, we replace it with my daughter smiling and giving the thumbs up? Yeah. And in the back, Paul Rudd's fucking my wife. What if we did that? Yeah. I think these guys need a little wake up call. And I think it's about time. <laughs> I think it's about time. <laughs> you, t- you, turn into, think- you turn into Baron Harkonnen from think- Dune. <laughs> Dude, in a year, people are going to turn on the podcast. You're in a big black pit of goo being lowered in. 
<laughs> you're the funniest man I've ever met. <laughs> You're, you're so absurd. <laughs> you're the most ridiculous person I've ever met. I know. It's like it's what? like my brother's Kramer. Oh God, <laughs> you. I mean, last week with the shorts. Listen, you did go kind of insane. Somebody sent me a screenshot of you last week. <laughs> we had to have. A I talk. thought you were naked. <laughs> I I go. Did Ben do the whole episode naked? Did my dick come out? No, it was you showing. Had- you had such a camel toe, it looked like you had a pussy. That's awesome. <laughs> like, I look fucking trans. Yeah. Yeah, you look oh, like you yeah. have like you look like an elephant titus trans person. That's great. I'm gonna get cast in some piece of shit Sean Baker film then. <laughs> that kicks ass. <laughs> I, I have armpit hair too. He doesn't make I have armpit and hair shit. and a pussy. <laughs> Put me in your movie. Yeah, come on. He makes a decent movie. He makes movie, good ben. movies. No, he does make good movies. He makes great films, actually. Some of my only favorites. No, he's actually except, great. He except, that, except that tangerine. I had a real problem with that movie. I didn't like that. <laughs> Don't know what's up with those people. Hold on, no. though. Hold on. Let's get back to... This is what... Let's, yeah. Seth Rogen yes. needs a little wakey-wakey uppy. I think it's... He smokes weed, and that's fucking wacky. Mm-hmm. This is, dude, I, when I found out Seth Rogen smokes weed, I was like, no, duh. His <laughs> mo- like, he's so... F- like fuck, you'd have to be fucking high to come up with super bad. Right, you'd have to be. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to f- be on the fudgy wacky tobacco to come up with those insane riferinos. Damn, dude. <laughs> Yeah, What's fucked up, that though, movie. is that I feel like we could work our whole lives and never make a movie as good as Superbad. Oh, it's a perfect movie. Oh, it's, a, it's, a perfect it's, it's, movie. it's actually a perfect film. Yeah, it's right. great. It's amazing. And but it, and it proves, I'm, just, I'm just being a guy. But it, I don't. I, I didn't mean to run into this. He should kill himself. <laughs> no, that's how bad he. And by the way, Judd Apatow also made one of my fav, wrote one of my favorite comedies ever, Heavyweights, and still, I'm still like, just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Love how you. What? Heavyweights. Was, like, heavyweights, heavyweights was the movie. Heavyweights would, is his best written movie. Would it's a love, perfect was, movie. I would love yeah, for you to perfect film. I would love I for you to do the letterbox that. top four on yeah. a red carpet somewhere, and you're like heavyweights. <laughs> Freddie got fingered. <laughs> yeah, you, you, so far you're right. Um, there's a YouTube video of a black guy uh, talking Chinese. Mm-hmm. Freddie got fingered on the Criterion Collection, I know. Is. Way, which is amazing. It officially <clears> got added. But can you guess my top five? Because you got two of them. Okay, it's it's literally Freddie got fingered. It's heavyweights. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Heavyweights is really like one of your favorite movies of all time. Yeah. It had a, had a big impact on me. Fascinating. I mean, I'm obsessed with fatties. I mm-hmm. loved that movie too, but I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Jace, keep going. Top four. God, what's the what's the fucking other two? Are they? Can you give me? Is it I mean, trauma? Uh, I don't know how. Why no I have country to give. for old men. Uh, sure, I'll put that one up there. Um, what's a movie about a big retarded guy? Sling Blade. I mean, obviously, you got to choose the whale. the whale. I don't know how you're the not whale. getting the whale. Yeah, obviously. I'm sorry. I'm being a bit of a uh, fucking The retard. house that Jack built. Sure, there you I'll go. put that one in there. There you go. I actually don't have a top five. I was just seeing what you. You guys have were no top say. five. I know. I believe in nothing. No, because you're yeah, you're a nihilistic <laughs> man. Yeah. You have you don't care about anything. That's why you have a green fire going on behind you. Mm-hmm. Here, no, you don't care here, about anything. Here's a perfect. Here's a perfect. Mo- hey, let's let's go to the movie theater. Don't play anything. Let me eat four thousand calories worth of peanut M and M's in the in the quiet dark. And it's really cold. And then I go home. <laughs> How about that? That's I'll play a movie in my fucking head, Jack. <laughs> Save the electricity. That's, you're going to the movies. You're just going to empty movie theaters where the credits are rolling for other movies. Mm-hmm. And you go, all right, I got about 17 minutes before they kick my ass out you of really... here. I call it reading. <laughs> I love to read the names as they fly by. You are something else. You fascinate I'm me. a public library retard. I don't know. Except I don't have a car, so I don't go to the library. I stay I, at home. You really, you, I, you're you so amazing to me. Mm-hmm. You dress like a blood when so, you're at home. So here's what we need to do, because and, Seth Rogen and Judd Apatow need to start making they were, some pictures. They were amazing, and I know we, we say a lot of evil things about them. But what was bothering me was I was watching Knocked Up and I was like, this kicked ass. This like inspired me so much when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Super bad was is amazing to this day. Pineapple Express is amazing. Mm-hmm. You just all these things they were associated with, and I'm like, and I'm wa- I rewatch them occasionally, and I'm like, but you would literally like say this is you can't do this now. Yeah. Now they like Ao Edebiri walks in a room and they start like <laughs> they start shaking like chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> they start freaking out. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, to this day, I'll still like, I'll make perfect latte art in the morning. I'll make like a perfect like swan, and I'll look at it and I'll go swan. Thug uh, life. <laughs> <laughs> Thug life. 
you made me a swastika earlier. That's how I got into MIA Paper Planes because that trailer. I was like, this fucking is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> my, you goddamn you. <laughs> so, I'm like, fuck, this is so awesome. I fly like Pippa get high like planes. If you can't be- Do you guys remember the trailer? <laughs> oh, I, yeah, of course yeah. I like, remember it. Dark life. It was I, great. And he cocks the shotgun, and I was like 16, and I was like, Holy fuck. Holy fucking shit. (laughs) (laughs) Holy goddamn fucking shit. But I really hate that that became gay because it really did kick ass. No, the movie kicks ass. No, the movie kicks ass. The the trailer kicks ass. The song kicks ass. I I I love Seth Rogen, but we need to wake him up at his house uh, tonight. (laughs) At three in the morning, he you needs know what's to wake funny? up. We need we, to we need to bludgeon him to death with his own weed equipment that he sells. <laughs> and if even if we did bludgeon him to death and he came back to life, he'd tweet about how great it was <laughs> and how no one should complain like, about getting actually, bludgeoned. To one death. of my favorite parts of LA is getting raped by black people <laughs> when I walk down alleys. I think it fucking rules. What a fucking retard. Yeah, did he tweet about how you should expect to get stabbed in a big city one he time? He goes, yeah, he goes. Somebody complained uh, online about um, it was Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat. Who, by the way, I've hung out with that guy before. He fucking kicks so much ass. He's so yeah. cool. Yeah, I don't He's know. He's so but... awesome. Yeah, and, I don't know. And either. the fact that Seth Rogen was like attacking this guy, I'm like, this dude is like the coolest dude. Yeah, he, ever. Who's he, not a retard? He wasn't even being crazy. He was just like, this sucks. My car got broken into and everything mm-hmm. got stolen. And like, this is kind of annoying. Like, I live in a nice neighborhood and like, why is this happening? And then Seth Rogen was like, That's, sometimes they, uh, I, my car got broken into and it's not that big a deal. It's called living in a big city. And, and they, sometimes they leave a little treat. They leave behind. a little treat. They left a knife covered in Mexican kids' blood. And that was awesome to me. And, <laughs> Despite that, if a black guy did come near my house, I would flamethrower him like once upon a time in Hollywood, man. Yeah, I was Team Casey on that one. Seth Rogen must suck my ass. No, he sucks. Yeah, I mean, they've, sucks. they've become such jokes. I mean, Judd Apatow, after the Will Smith thing, is one of the most embarrassing things. He said he should have been like, char- like, like charged with murder. He said Will Smith murder. should have been charged. He could have killed him, is he what could've he said. He could have killed him. He could have killed him. He Judd Apatow killed him. tweeted that? Judd Apatow tweeted... There's a line that he crossed. He's dealt with jokes before. He knows what jokes are. He could have. He should have been charged. He could have killed him. He could have killed him. Dude, how yeah. funny is it that Judd is getting upset about black on black crime? <laughs> it's like you're ju- Judd. You're just like all the people that you hate. Mm-hmm. Look what you're doing right now. Oh, my you friend. know, you know the tweet he had to delete. He goes because he's a dirty. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. No, I love. Him. Wait, 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 wait. Back checks, back checks, back checks. I'm friends with Gary Shanley. Right. He's my best friend. He's my best friend. I'm gonna ruin. Um, Documentaries about comedians who are better than me. <laughs> backspace, backspace. What if I steal somebody's set at the store and bomb, even though I'm famous? Nope. Tonight, I'm going to Seth's place and uh, I'm going to give him a little talking to. Yeah. I hope Judd is slapped to death by Will Smith. I hope he gets killed that way. I'm going to go. I'm going to live in Judd Apatow's hot tub in the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> and when he, when he comes out with his wife who's getting fucked. Into the hot tub. Leslie Mann. They're going to take off the hot tub lid and I'm going to pop out mm-hmm. and my eyes are scalding red hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost dead. Oh, it's been the whole time. <laughs> Not the whole time. You're like, oh, fuck. I've been, oh. For, no, I've been in there for weeks. <laughs> but you're so dead. You go in the summer. It's August, the dog days. <laughs> And I'm too I'm too weak to even kill him. I just fall over like a yeah. lobster in a yeah, pot. Yeah, she lifts the top of you. Go, ah, you gay son of a bitch! And you lift up the gun, but all the meat slides off your arm like a big rib. Yep. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. And, Judd, chicken. and Leslie goes, Ah, Judd, another uh, podcaster tried to murder you. He's like, ah, damn. You know that Craig Robinson has them all on, like, silent. Oh, yeah. On his phone. He's like, oh, God, they're always asking me to, like, touch up their texts. <laughs> touch up their tweets. Yeah, oh, you know, it's a nightmare. You know Craig Robinson wakes up every summer to a happy Juneteenth text from <laughs> Seth and Judd. <laughs> Judd texting, happy Juneteenth, my soul, brother. Happy Juneteenth. <laughs> We're just watching Hot Tub Time Machine 2. And just we and later we're gonna read the speeches of Martin Luther King, Doctor Junior, Reverend Official. <laughs> oh man, yeah, they fucking suck. I mean, I think yeah. Seth is slowly. He started out so funny that he wrote super bad when he was ten. Yeah, and then he's progressively been getting gayer. But on his deathbed, he's gonna be getting fucked in the ass by like the uh, 
the queer eye guys. Jonathan Van Ness yeah. is going to be coming in his yeah. asshole as he dies. Yeah, he's going to put on that alien mech suit and fuck Seth Rogen in his ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna be like, this is great. As he wore a dress. No, I every day I put on on this screen behind you, mm-hmm. behind me. Sorry. I put on a I, I go to Google Images and I type in Seth Rogen and I put in newest and I look, I have a baseball bat and I do this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's because I love comedy so much mm-hmm. and I just want it to come back. Yeah. I just want it to come back. Can man. we can we can we well, just what, can, why can't we laugh at anything? I like anymore? Santa Inc. What's your problem? <laughs> Santa Inc. was the biggest piece of dog shit I think I've what? ever seen. Yeah. Santa, Santa, Santa Incorporated? Santa Inc. was amazing. <laughs> yeah, and it was like L's teaching us about racism and shit. It's, you know what's so funny, too, by the way, is one time I ran into, uh, look, I don't like no celebrities, but one time I, I talked to Sarah Silverman for like two hours outside the improv. She was just high, and she bummed cigarettes for me, and I I just talked with me and my friend, and I talked to her, and this was right after the Louis thing. Yeah. She, and she was like, Louis will be back. He's fine. He didn't do anything. And then like behind closed doors, they're all like, right. they're all like right. killing these people. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all like a fake put on to keep getting jobs. It's even worse than oh, you think. They actually these, don't believe they're it. They're all complete fucking frauds. I mean, Sarah fucking chastised us for years about being white pieces of shit and then like immediately like started defending Israel the second like the bomb started flying. Yeah. They're all complete pieces of shit. I think Sarah tweeted that they should turn off their water and power. Yes, she did tweet that. She's like, turn off the water and power until the hostages are And then she just said she was high. She like gave like the Seth Rogen defense. Mm -hmm. I was high. Yeah. Fucking sorry they planted a bomb at a halal guys. (laughs) (laughs) No, when you smoke indica it makes you hate black people. (laughs) We all know that. I tried to watch 10 minutes of that Santa Incorporated show on HBO. It's the worst show ever made. It might be up there. I think it's I think of... it's I think it's one of the top 5 worst things I've ever seen in my life. I'm trying to remember the plot now. I know they were like There's no plot. Don't, the whole thing no, was like Judaism yeah. is don't good and even, Christianity Don't is bad. even no, entertain it with yeah. a plot. There's no plot. There's no plot. You trying to summarize it would add more effort not, than they had writing yeah, it. Yeah, don't you dare summarize it. Yeah. They asked ChatGBT, they go make the gayest thing of all time and it spit out those scripts. You remember that old SNL thing from like 2003? Like, it's Christmas time for the Jews. Yeah, we got that for the Saturday Lakers, TV Funhouse. For the Lakers, we got that was amazing. Like mm-hmm. you can make you can make the thing that like where it's like a Jewish version of like a claymation Christmas thing, and that's proof that it can be funny and original. Who people, is that? Robert Smigel. That made is that? Robert Smigel. Yeah, yeah. Who's a it's, genius? It's people have to admit to themselves that unfortunately racism and sexism and homophobia is the funniest thing that you can. <laughs> unfortunately, it is true. It is the funniest thing you could do. Mm-hmm. Is to do all those things. Yeah, yeah. But ironically, so. But oh yeah, of course we're being ironic. Except yeah. when we talk about women. It it's a it's a weird time right now because I do agree with that, but also uh, Hitler's speeches are going viral uh, right now on Twitter. Are they? Because people are putting it through like a like a, a Norwegian AI filter. AI filter, so you can listen to Hitler's speeches. And there's like a, like Chop. Nazi inspo trap beats behind. It's like it. chopped and screwed Hitler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can go to your. Uh, a home gym now in your garage and you could just smoke blunts and Hitler like, and like do squats and listen yeah. to Hit, Hit, listen to Hitler speeches and they're, they're really good <laughs> yeah yeah the right. Hitler AI speeches you're like damn this guy was could spit yeah this motherfucker like hold up let him, let him cook like, I got seven Mac 11s about eight 48s nine nine tens back tens this shit's never in it's like Biggie in a fucking like yeah, yeah, yeah. basement just like Boom, yeah. boom, boom, yeah. boom. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. I'm a bird, bird. I'm like, Give damn. Me the loot. Give me All the loot. right. I'm a bird, All bird. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it actually goes so hard. I'm like, yeah. holy like I put, I was like, all right, I'll put on this stupid Nazi like mm. AI. Yeah, I, I like, love you. Fuck, <laughs> shit. I still love you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I can play a little bit of it for you guys. No, just we're, no, okay. no, we're, we're, okay. we don't need to be. Don't we don't need, need to, to be too that. on the news. It's, it's, he's, he's just spitting and he's going hard and it's all. Yeah. He's just screaming and it's all about how he's a prophet of like of God and destruction and stuff. Yeah. And like, there's like millions of people doing this. Mm-hmm. As he as he's just fucking yeah this 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 n word this n word spitting but it's Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> and he's doing that shit too where it's clipping. 
You know when Biggie's like he's he's fucking freestyling so hard, like the mic isn't yeah. even picking it up properly because yeah. you're like, fuck, the flow is so good that it's like breaking, like the 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 prose is like breaking the fucking microphone. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. That's the shit Hitler was on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, they're doing that All and like making it Chinese and bullshit and <laughs> party and, and juice <laughs> and kill the Jew shit. <laughs> yeah. Ready to die, but yeah, that's the those are yeah. going viral now. So it's it's an unfortunate thing because it's like everybody know knows that Biden's gay and is bad, and right. that racism and stuff like that's funny. But unfortunately, also the baggage that comes with that, it seems to be. Yeah, yeah, I have people been are seeing, doing squats and listening to Hitler's. Speeches. I told you guys, I yeah. saw, I saw like a like a like literally like a fuck ends tweet that got like eighty thousand likes on yeah, Twitter, and yeah. I was like, I don't want to be gay, but this seems insane. Yeah, Twitter's getting a little wild. Yeah, or X. Yeah, yeah, it's that, or it'll be somebody tweeting like that. The like the mountains are like big animals that are going to come alive in yep. 20 years and I see that gets 90,000 likes. Well the big thing now is like a guy will be like he'll take a picture of the moon during the day mm-hmm. and of the day moon he's like does anybody else remember a time when this wasn't happening? Yeah. Anybody else paying attention? And what everyone's th- like dude I noticed the other day that you could see the moon during the day and when I was a kid you never could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which which is, is kind of horrifying. You don't think about <laughs> you don't think about being at Trader Joe's and like 10 of the people in the Trader Joe's legitimately are like, no, there's like Jews in space that shoot guns at white people. That's really stupid bitch. Naomi Wolf, Naomi Wolf, uh, the writer. She wrote that book called like on my pussy or my cunt or my vagina. I don't know her. No, I don't uh, know her. She went viral. Uh, she was a big deal. She wrote a uh, my vagina. She wrote a book called like vagina. Uh, okay. Na- na- uh, hold on, Naomi Wolf. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? She wrote a pussy book. She wrote that, yeah the the New York Times bestseller, Cunt Pussy. <laughs> the brave Na- the brave stories of a white woman who went to Columbia. <laughs> you guys, Cunt Pussy. You guys remember this woman that sucks ass? No, I don't look into women. She yeah, was a feminist mean. icon. She wrote the beauty myth. Uh, Oh, I've heard of the beauty myth before, yeah. Um, she's like 61 now. Her pussy's all dried up. Gloria Steinem no loves, loves her work. Her. Yeah. What did she make? Uh, hold on. I'll look up her book because she wrote a book about like her pussy or something. Book. The beauty myth? Oh, vagina. Right uh, there. Vagina, yeah, yeah. She wrote a book called Vagina. Yeah, or something like that. Anyway, okay. she's like insane on Twitter. What does she say on Twitter? I'll show you. She does look like a husky. <laughs> Uh, she she's just like his tweets like with like flat earthers and stuff now it kind of kicks ass mm-hmm. good for her she tweeted the other day that she goes has anybody else noticed that uh, you don't see very pregnant women anymore and everyone's like this what is going on what and people are like yep honestly the skies aren't blue anymore they're not clear women aren't pregnant they're putting something in the water that's yeah. population control and this was like getting like I, I just scrolled past millions and like millions and millions of comments. Women aren't pregnant anymore. What? Mm-hmm. Here, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it so I can just see exactly what this retard is saying. She's also saying that the skies aren't as blue anymore. Mm. Yeah, which just means she's probably like developing cataracts yeah. or something. Naomi R. Wolf, hold on, pregnant. I think she even said very pregnant, which is very funny. Uh, dude, I. Uh, remember deafening sounds of crickets remember how on summer nights there were bugs on windshields remember huge flocks of birds on telephone poles mm-hmm. remember the murmur of frogs remember how you looked into a patch of grass as a child if you were born in the 60s or earlier it was teeming, teeming with, with all, all manner, manner of life. life so this is the new thing now so I, do you guys know this is an interesting thing the win, do you guys know about windshield phenomena yeah I've heard about I thought that was actually true though Oh, is it? The windshield thing. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Well, fuck. All what right. Well, if that's true, then we're fucked. What is windshield <laughs> phenomenon? I think, unfortunately, you picked the one that is right. It's it's the fact, like, when you drive cross-country as a kid, the, the windshield would be covered with bugs. Yeah. And now, if you drive cross-country, there's, like, no bugs. Rip. It's because oh. we've just, like, um, we destroyed, like, so much natural um, uh, agriculture, like, with lawns and stuff that, like, bugs are just, like, dying. Like, is that not true? As many, I, think it's, I think it is true. I gotta say, I did go on a road trip know. recently. Not many bugs. That's what I'm saying. It used to be a thing when I was a kid, too, I remember. Interesting. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, see, windshield phenomena, it, it's uh, the observation that fewer dead insects accumulate on the windshields or front bumpers of people's cars since the early 2000s. It has been attributed to a global decline in insect population caused by human activity and use of pesticides. Is that a bad thing? How bad is that? I don't 
know. I kind of like that there's no bugs anymore. <laughs> I kind of feel like Naomi <laughs> Wolf might be talking about, you know, a race of people. And I won't say who. Right. She's like, because you- I don't even know who. I'm just being edgy. Who knows who I mean? Hey, it's Mad Libs for racism. Yeah. Fill in your own group. No, what people. I mean is Vietnamese people. <laughs> Those dirty, it's like, you're, you're you're like a woke guy. You're like, I love all groups of people. I think racism is disgusting. And fuck the Cantonese. <laughs> fuck them and their donut shops. I hate the Hmong. <laughs> N- 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 fuck the Houthis <laughs> and their rockets. She's such a bad writer. Fuck it. She's talking about Jordanians. <laughs> She goes, who remembers when the sun was golden, not silvery? The sky was deep, rich, oh, blue, shut not up, pale, milky cunt. blue. Shut up, you retard. It's shut up. you have a tumor in your brain that's making your vision yeah, what worse. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Remember when the sky was golden? What yeah. are you talking about? Remember when my skin was tight and I didn't hear a buzzing <laughs> noise? <laughs> Remember when I had a lot of energy in the morning? Remember at noon when everything didn't smell like toast? <laughs> yeah, you're, di- you're getting old you're and dying. dying. What are you're you talking dying, about? You're dying, Naomi Wolf. <laughs> you stupid bitch. Yeah, she's just dying, and All she's right. like, "Why aren't there pregnant women I'll anymore?" Give, I'll give her the bug thing because I did go on a road trip, and I was kind of we we pulled off, and I was like, "That's." I remember back as a kid going on a road trip, <laughs> millions hundreds of bugs. of bugs all over the front of the car. Yeah, they do. They always say time. something like, "Oh, if there's no more spiders, you know, we'll all die." But like, but, who gives a but shit? But it was one of those things where when I saw that there weren't that many bugs, I was like, "This kicks ass." Yeah, it rules. Good. I actually, I do think it's good. I hate bugs, and as I long say as we double down on pesticides, yep. I want all my frogs to be trans. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If there were still bugs, I would drive around looking for bugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would go as fast as I could for suburban neighborhoods driving through like clouds of bugs. Yeah, did we ever them. did we ever think about the fact that we killed them all on road trips? <laughs> How about that? How about that? Retards. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> Fuck everybody. I, I agree. So and Emily much... Wolf is awesome. She's a cool doctor. I, I like what so... she says about vaccines. <laughs> what does she say about vaccines? Oh, obviously. Well, Devin, she... I think you know what she says I mean, about vaccines. Pro yeah, vaccine. Look, look uh, no, no, no. Obviously, she's against them. She's like, she's saying that pregnant women are being forced to be vaccinated and it's killing yeah, their Yeah, look at her. She looks stuff. like she hunted Liam Neeson <laughs> in the gray. And they did that. And yeah, not she only does that. Still, she took... takes pills for her, her thick coat. She really does look like an actual wolf. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I, Ben, you're showing your gut. Ben, you're Ben, you're being Ben. Red. Come on, time listen. to eat more. <laughs> Last week you showed your pussy, Nothing. and now it's your gut. Yep. Oop, oop, oop. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. Oh, here we go. Down my belly. Here we go. Scotty, Scotty, oh. No, but seriously, Seth Rogen, if you're listening to this, you, you. You're not safe anymore. I want you to know that. Says <laughs> Rogan, I want you to know. I want you to know. You're going down. Everybody clip this and send, and mail it and and uh, rip it on a VHS and mail it to Seth Rogen's P.O. Box for his weed company. That would actually be great for our show. I'm sure he would tweet about it and be super gay. Yeah. Hey, Seth Rogen, get, hey, why don't you start fucking crafting a, a fucking urn? <laughs> Him doing a promo video with his shitty fake I'm gay nails, which is the thing that pisses me off the most is not even the fact that he has nails. I don't give a shit if you have clip on nails as a guy. The fact that he's like, look at my fucking nails I put on for this video. Yeah. Like a just try hard piece of shit. Yeah, I know. He gets dominated every day on Twitter for like not having kids or something. Yeah, I saw that recently because he did some interviews like it's great. I can watch cartoons and smoke weed naked on Saturday mornings with my wife. I'm like, that's cool. I don't even no know. No one cares about regressive culture. But, like, anymore. why do you it's keep over. talking about not having kids? Like, who gives a shit? Yeah, who get, why you have to make it like this weird, He's insecure, higher yeah. than, like, holier than thou type of thing? You know? I'm going to kick your ass. It is funny because I, you know, in 10 years, I'll be hitting them up. Be like, you want to hang, you <laughs> fucking childless fag? I'm a childless fag, too. Hey, buddy, I'm sorry I talk shit about you. Yeah. I can't wait till in 30 years if we, I text Devin. I go, yep, it's so lonely over here. <laughs> And he goes, I know, brother. So, yeah. so lonely. When, we're, when you and I are both in a separate group chat calling dibs on who gets to hang out with Ben's child. <laughs> yeah, putting way too much pressure on his daughter to like be our substitute. <gasps> Uncle Dev or Uncle Jace. And wh- whoever we, she picks, we lose our fucking mind. I know. We put, we put her in a field and we stand like 100 feet apart. She starts walking to you, and I go, God damn her! (laughs) 
hey, uh, hey, Seth Rogen, I got a new, I got a new strain for Seth Rogen. It's a, it's a new strain I, I bred myself. It's called These Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Oh how about you smoke these nuts, bitch? How about you, how about you smoke smoke oh this pole, bitch? Oh, we suck so much ass. <laughs> yeah, bitch. It's a new strain I've been crossbreeding. It's with it's half my dick, half my balls, yeah. bitch. Yeah. How about you take some indica in these nuts? <laughs> Bitch. You know what my favorite thing? I used to get fucked up and go to parties. <laughs> and I would be like, yeah, this popcorn is bad. <laughs> like, I'm like, hey, I just walk up to people like, hey, hey. Do you like you do you like CDs or like are you tapes? Are you like a tapes guy? Um, I'm more of a tapes guy. Oh, so you want to tape this dick to your forehead so you can see these nuts? <laughs> That's very good. I re- I remember That's very good. I'm, he's literally not kidding. I remember Ben doing this at parties, but it was more like you like walk up and be like, huh. <laughs> they'd be like what are you okay and he'd be like do you need the name and you do this easy tape and you go oh god damn it. dude the best was the best was smoking weed in the garage with like a, mm-hmm. like four of my closest friends mm-hmm. and like we would try to get each other on this where we'd be like I'd be like man I was a uh, uh, fucking I was watching a movie and there was a there was a thing in it uh, it's like a Fuck, I don't know why I can't think of the word. It's like a big lizard. And someone goes, oh, a, a dragon? You go, yeah, dragon this dick across your forehead so you can see these nuts, bitch. Yeah, you're fucking gay. And then you just turn around fuck and you're you. like, I fucking got you, yeah. asshole, fuck dumbass. You. Fuck you. And if you could trick someone into that, it was like you were the coolest guy. Ooh, yeah. Man. You were yeah. the coolest guy. And you, we, and you got your dick sucked because we, of that. We were all going through a lot that of That is like, cool. The losing the religion stuff. Because I, yeah. I remember I used to get drunk. <laughs> at parties and I was like a nervous guy but then I get hammered I walk up to a guy and be like hey Ross I go your t-shirt looks stupid fuck you <laughs> <laughs> I seriously did that to a, a guy you said fuck you that loud to a no, guy I, I literally there was one time I was playing beer pong against this guy named Ross and I literally like I made a joke about him and then people laughed I go ha 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 fuck you <laughs> and he was like he was, he was like actually fucked up he was like 5'7 I'm towering over him Dude, I miss the days. It was the summer of 2014. Uh, I didn't have a girlfriend. I all my friends were kind of gone for the summer, and I was just living at this, in this really shitty house for like 50 bucks a month for rent. Mm-hmm. And I lived by the train tracks. I remember, yeah. And my daily routine is I would get uh, my car had hail damage, so it got totaled, so I didn't have a car. So I be I literally became the huffy bike guy. In like a bad small town, where right. I literally was like the guy on the little like my roommate had a huffy bike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you looked like you looked like a guy that was that would tell other people the catalytic converter is intact. Let's take it. <laughs> literally like a guy you see where you go. I don't know where he's going, but I know there's nitrous there. The pair of pants I always wore were bright red salmon pants. Yeah, I remember, you remember that. I remember those. And yeah. I had like a Kobe jersey, the rape jersey, the the pre rape. Don't, don't say that. Yeah, come on, Ben. Sorry, piece of shit. So, what was the number eight? Fucking the Seth, eight Seth Rogan over here. Well, he was accused of rape with eight. I so. know, I know, I know. But then he changed the number. It's the pre. He didn't do it because of the false accusation. <laughs> And it is 100% a false accusation. Don't get me started. I, I can know. Do, I Devin, can do a you've whole, had tequila. Devin, I know, I'll I know. do a whole episode of this. I don't think he did it. I don't well, think he did it. Well, why say it? I don't... I'm, it's like... Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> Fuck you! I would ride across the... Uh, ben, Ben's baby's in the other bedroom I'm getting sorry. psychic damage right now. <laughs> oh no, I did it too. I would ride my bike across the train tracks. Mm-hmm. You would I pedal would, it like that too. Like, like all shitty, like jigsaw, because yeah. it was too small for you. The way yeah. you a guy rides a bike in a uh, like a really bad dream you're having. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> where a guy you see him <laughs> like drive by it. and like when a man dreamfully yeah. riding his yeah. bike in slow motion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I would go across the train tracks. It's like 105 degrees in Texas. Mm-hmm, right. I'm hung over a shit. It's 1:30. I woke up at like 12:45, and I'm going to get my. I had my guy there. He was a really fat, smelly guy who sucked ass, but he was my dude at that 7-Eleven. Mm-hmm. They had a deal. Two packs, non-menthol Newport. I got the gold pack. Oh, boy. Because I knew menthol was worse for you. Yeah. You just reminded me I had a menthol phase as well. No, I was doing the Newport non-menthol. Oh, okay. The, the gold pack. Right. Oh, that's crazy. I, I, I it's insane that Newport I did that. Menthols, but... It's insane I did Newport non-menthol. 
Wow. Then I would get three. You were so oh. racist. You refused the menthol Newports. <laughs> but I still got. Would you them. I was dipping my toe in the water. Ben, ben, would order, ben would order fried chicken and then rip the skin off before he <laughs> yeah, ate yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would. You would dip the Newports mm-hmm. in uh, in Listerine. I would do grilled chicken and waffles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd, <laughs> you'd, you'd play I'm like I'm civilized. Yeah. Thank you. You played dice, but with yeah. those Dungeon and Dragons <laughs> yeah. cubes, those little octagon things. You went to Ronald's Chicken and Waffles, <laughs> dude. I remember like being so like I didn't. I thought I was like I'm like I'm just probably gonna kill myself this summer. Sure. <laughs> and I would I would get um, I would mix it up. The only the only thing that was different during my day was whether I was gonna get Mickey's OE. Uh, Colt 45, uh, King Cobra, or Steel Reserve. Mm -hmm. That was like the big five for me where I was like, what am I thinking? What am I feeling today? Boys, line them up and knock them down. (laughs) Suck them if you got them. (laughs) Line them up real pretty. And I'd put them in the Ziploc bags and put them. I learned eventually to get four Mm -hmm. or just two because you have to put them in the Ziploc bags and you have to balance them on either side of the bike. Yeah. Because then you have to do it all the way back and then I'd wait so the way shitty. it was timed I'd have to wait for the train to go by so I'd be sitting on my Huffy bike in the road yeah. it's like guys. 105 degrees I'm wearing sandals Kobe jersey red pants and I, yeah. a tr- I'm just waiting for a fucking train yeah, to like go by like alcoholic like, E.T. <laughs> <laughs> I was living like a scratchers guy yeah. I'm like this is this gonna be my life forever This is that was all well, I did you were a child I was like twenty two. Yeah, train train, yeah. train hobos were rip ripping rocks. That at is you. so funny that I met you two years later. Yeah, and you had just been doing that. Yeah, like you had been. Yeah, you had yeah. been. It was. It was. And I would. I would drink the forties in bed. T- typically, I would go back and lay down in my. I lived on a. I slept on a little shitty twin mattress on the floor. I still prefer a mattress on the floor. It's the one thing I've had to give my wife. It's very Japanese of you. Mm-hmm. It's very Japanese. I think it's you. a better way to sleep. Honestly, Russ Cole does it. It's, honestly, a, it's more efficient. I agree. I, I just had to get my mattress off the floor. I kind of hate it. I prefer the floor. It's much better. Yeah. 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 It's a really fucked up thing about me and Jace. I don't. Fuck kinda, sheets, by the way. Fuck sheets. Fuck they sheets. suck. You I know, want a comforter and I want to wrap myself up in it. No sheets. You on know the what? I don't like sheets either. I don't do that. It's it's not a self esteem thing. I just want to sleep on the floor like a dog on top of a bed with no line. I don't at do all. sheets, and I actually get pissed off when Ida wants to go get the fucking the down comforter uh, uh, cleaned. Mm-hmm. I go. I like the dirt. Can I say something else? Can I tell? I don't believe in I dressers. You, I think clothes should go in. A, there should be two piles. It should be clean a big and dirty. pile. I like pyramids, bitch. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm a fan of history, <laughs> whore. Fuck you. This is how the Native Americans did it, <laughs> mm-hmm. you white bitch. Why does, you, why does your female brain need things to be this way? Why does it need it? You need order! You're sick! You're sick, you need cute other things around this apartment, you're sick bitch! <laughs> you're ruining my life! <laughs> why does it matter where we put the ottoman? Why is it so important? Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. I don't want to go pick up that couch from Facebook Marketplace. Oh, you got a dresser on Facebook Marketplace. Fuck you. No, no, honey. It's great. You got that dresser on Facebook Marketplace. I'd love to drive down to San Diego and pick it up on a Saturday. I'd love to go to Ladera Heights at 5 p.m. That sounds great. No, yeah. we should rent a U-Haul for nine hundred dollars. No, that's great. That's great. Yeah, let's go pick up that ottoman in the Hollywood Hills. I'll kill Seth Rogen on the way. Yeah. I'll burn his house no, down. That's great. I'm sure it'll make you th- happy for a day and a half till you have to find a new thing to consume. It's great. When my when my wife make, when my wife tries to make me do stuff like that, I threaten. I go, I'll, I'll kill a celebrity. I'll get on the news. Yeah. I know where everyone lives. Yeah. I'll kill someone very famous. I, go, I did Postmates, bitch. <laughs> I'll kill Evan Rachel Wood tonight. I have a Rolodex right here. <laughs> I know where Zach De La Roca lives, <laughs> and he's finished. Hey, I'll show you. I'll rage against the machine. <laughs> I saw you promote Pepsi. Wait, you think I won't kill Wayne Coyne tonight? Yeah, I know. I know the Long John you Silvers he goes to take <laughs> acid. I at. know that you love La Mill Coffee Shop. <laughs> I'll poison your fucking pancakes, bitch. I'll kill Sharon Osbourne. <laughs> I'm br- a brutal murder. Ooh, do you like square one? <laughs> I know John Cale's studio is downtown, 800 Flower Street. I'm going to poison your jam. I'll make Charles Manson look like Mr. Rogers, bitch. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. Mother- I'll, I'll kill someone you like. How about that? How about that? I'll kill... Uh, she, my, my wife's a fan of Pamela Adlon. I'll kill Pamela Adlon. How about that? <laughs> no more shitty TV shows on FX for you, you dumb bitch. Uh, 
<laughs> if you make me talk, if you make me talk about the drapes one more goddamn time, <laughs> that's so funny. You just threatened to kill. You threatened to. Yeah. <laughs> you threatened to assassinate yeah. people. Do you love Carol G? Well, hey, it's a it's a wonder her plane lit on fire last week. You're just spinning a gun on the kitchen table, right. just, just kind of patting it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure would be a shame if something happened to Tyra Banks this week. <laughs> Sure, it'd be a shame if somebody skinned her alive and wore it. Oh man! Yeah, yeah no, I but women um, uh, need things to be happy, and it's, yeah, it ruins their boyfriend's they, lives. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They love it's big. Like I just want to sleep on the floor and ride my bike to get forward. They love big wooden pieces. Mm-hmm. Just a they big do. piece of wood. And what, somebody, your job as a boyfriend, your job as a boyfriend is to like. There's the new dresser goes in, and you have to go like. Oh my god! I mean, it's com- it's completely different than the last dresser. It's crazy. It's tying everything together, and there's so much more room now. Right, and then she'll be like, "Do you really like it?" And you go, "Of oh, uh, course, I like it." We sweetie. gotta get a shoe rack. I used to have so fun. you can put your shoes in the rack. I, I go, I'm not gonna. Put, I'm never gonna. That takes. To, I have to take the shoes and put them in the thing. I'm not gonna do that. You know what it is, boys. We fucked ourselves for a life of complacency. That's... I used to get head nods from guys with DUIs on their bikes that were also getting 40s. <laughs> I, I used to have fucking respect. I know. Places I went. Now people look at me. They look at me like I'm a fucking dog. I know. They look at me like I like I I fucking live underground in you the are. sewer I, like a little cock. I used to like go- I eat all the shit. From everybody in the city, everybody pees in their toilets and then shits in them and flushes it down the toilet. And I'm down there in the sewer eating it you used and to be drinking a, it. You used to be a pit bull. Now you're an old golden retriever. <laughs> you're goddamn right. You're Kevin. an Cancer. old little fucking fag. <laughs> That's what you are. You're a little bitch. All of us are j- nothing but old little fags. I'm a little piss drinking fag. I used to get. I used to get home at. I used to get home at Fridays. <laughs> On a Friday at 5 p.m., I would get home and I would masturbate till Monday at 8 a.m. And not a single soul would call me, check on me, see if I'm okay. It was glorious. It was beautiful. Mm-hmm. My little dickhead would be raw oh, by the time it was starting to clock back in. Unbelievable. Emma, are you, are you drunk? Are you driving? <laughs> Shut up! Dude, I hate Shut up! It really sucks. It's like, just let me fucking kill I'm myself. Fu- leave your car there. Well, that's, I don't want to wake up tomorrow and go get my car. I'd rather almost die tonight. I'm, let me die tonight. Let me dr- How about that? Let me drunk drive, you bitch. Just let me die. Let me die. Please go to sleep early so I can get Taco Bell and masturbate. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't think these fucking 7-Eleven taquitos are going to do the job? For Christ's sakes, I bought a water. <laughs> Look at all these pretty little cans. I love the hollow sound of them. These pretty little ladies on the road. I love being like, you drink like such an alcoholic. Dude, it's insane. You drink like such a sober person on that. I'm literally just Russ Cole and True Detective, but I have a six pack of Coke Zero. You're making little guys out of the Coke Zero cans and they're all sucking each other off. And they're really fat. (laughs) They look like the whale. (laughs) Oh, man. This has been a wild one. Yeah, this has been. Yeah, both uh, episodes we really can't show to our girlfriends at all. Yeah. If you I think got, about I it, I got nothing left to prove, boys. I got nothing left to prove. I got nothing to lose. I created a beautiful thing. I created a beautiful baby girl, and no one, no, no not I even God. Say this can, podcast. No, not even mm. God can take that away from me. Mm. <laughs> it's well, actually well, that's the one person. <laughs> yeah, he is actually the one person that can immediately strike down upon the. <laughs> No fuck! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not even the cruel hand yeah. of fate that comes for us all. He's just like take... stroke, and your brain is a tumor. And now you speak to your daughter in grunts, <laughs> and you're trapped in your body, and you're trapped in your body forever. And ALS, <laughs> boom. And your brain, and <laughs> and everyone you love is gonna watch you melt. Boom. <laughs> And your brain's a quesadilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just God in heaven be like, dude, check this out. I just fucking gave this guy Parkinson's. That fucking rules. <laughs> yeah, thank God I met my wife, though. I mean, if I was still drinking, I mean, I would just be turning my hand into like a fucking oh, yeah. like a quesadilla. You'd be, on married, the, cast you'd iron. be married to a crushed coin on a, ra- on a, on a fucking train track. <laughs> 
you kidding me? Yeah. I'd be sticking my this dick is, in one of those Crusher Penny machines. This is my that wife. <laughs> I, I met her in Tombstone. It's a flat penny. I married I, this flat penny. I get a phone call from the sheriff that you just cut your hand off at the public library. Couldn't be me, man. No daughter of mine is marrying a Texas Longhorn. I'll tell no, you that no, much. No, she's not marrying anybody who catches the ball. Let's yeah, just yeah. say that. <laughs> Maybe somebody who throws yep. it. Maybe my, da- my daughter's marrying a bull. <laughs> I just hope she turns up. Turns like what, this is like a big gay like lady golfer. Of course. The you day, you want a lesbian? Reads. You want a lesbian? The day your daughter like uh, you know. Hates our podcast is the day you know you made it. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's gonna hate it for sure. We, we can only hope for what sure. If, what if she loves it <laughs> and you're fucked? Then you failed. Imagine you failed. every day you gotta. I gotta go do this for my baby girl, but it's not like for money. It's because like she loves it. She's like, Daddy, do what I love. Literally, like the the day your daughter says, "I l- listen to the podcast. I love it." I go, Ben, you failed. You're a bad father. Yeah, you're just up here smashing skulls with a hammer for her. What are you looking for? Dude, Gracie took the bag of popcorn, that fat ass. Oh, no, I I, I, I put it over here. We hid it from you. I assumed you were done. I must have been wrong. Um, in, in closing, um, I, I have a predicament. What's that? What are you talking well, about? It's no secret to you guys, but when I walk around the house by myself, I say crazy shit. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah, not and, on this and, podcast. And literally nothing is out of bounds. Mm-hmm. My daughter is going to say that. Like, I got to, I got to figure out how to have a filter. I'm going to have to be around someone I can't talk like that. It is. I still, don't know what to do about it. It is yeah. so funny. We we're, we're, we literally like earlier today. I was holding your daughter in my arms. I was and I was talking to Devin. I go and he's a fucking retard. He should fucking kill him. I know. We're gonna have to stop <laughs> doing looking, that in like a month. I know. And I look at Katie and she's like, "It's fine." Yeah. And I'm like, "Really?" Because it does. She doesn't take anything in yet. <laughs> I've seen you hold my daughter, and like you're making death threats against. No, somebody. literally, yeah, I like that's, that's going like, into her skull. I'm holding. I'm going, goo, 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 and I will fucking <laughs> skull rape Seth Simons <laughs> until cum comes out of his mom's cunt. <laughs> Fuck you. Goo, 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 goo. <laughs> <laughs> what if your daughter's first words are retard? Retard. 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 She already sounds like a whale, which makes made me cry today. I know Katie. Katie said oh, you that, cried that, today. That, that, that footage was really beautiful. Yeah, of her sounding like a whale. She's so sweet, dude. It's yeah. it's, it's so it's so beautiful. She's so awesome. You no, know, so your beautiful. wife your wife said it made you cry, and that started making me cry while I was in the living room. Dude, I I wept like a. I do when we went to when we went to the airport mm-hmm. uh, to go to to do the Austin show and the Houston show and mm-hmm. when we were flying to Texas, I got in the Uber drive. Uh, my Uber, uh, my Uber driver was a black woman, and I started mm-hmm. crying in the Uber, talking to her, talk, talking to her about because she was in the car with you, <laughs> <laughs> talking to her about like I was like, yeah, it's I'm like I have a daughter, and I was like, I fucking like. It. This is the first time I've ever been away from her. Like just holding her before, I was like, it's "Really?" Like a, it was like this. I really? literally said, "I said this is like the gayest thing I've ever said." I'm like, "I know it sounds like it's like you're holding her. And it's like this is someone's whole life, like in your hand." And I'm like crying, and I'm saying oh like God. the most hallmark bullshit. Yeah. She's I'm like babbling it's a, like a fool, and she's like, "It's okay, just be gay, baby. <laughs> yeah, get it out, baby. Get she's like, out. baby, I gotta tell you, baby, at least you're in its life." <laughs> <laughs> mm, you just be gay as hell, honey child. Yeah, she then she kept going. I have a, I have a daughter too, and she loves me. And I she, wish my baby daddy was gay as you. <laughs> she kept hinting that she doesn't have a dad. Like there's right. no dad in the picture. Sure, Ooh, but she's what? trying to be a good mom. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I I didn't like I didn't bring it up because I was like asking her. I'm like as a father, like what should I like? Well, she any advice? Was, well she was looking no, at you no, like no. like I, you don't you ain't judging me. Like your wife's about to walk out on you, you fag. <laughs> It's okay, baby. You can be a faggot in my Uber all you want, but I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call your woman and tell her that you you ain't got that dick. <laughs> I got a man who can pop it down real good. He can run a real good forty. <laughs> Xavier, 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the beginning. That's what we call the the callback. Dude, by the way, it could have just been Tyler Perry in the fat suit. I don't have an eye for these things. Mm. I don't know anymore. It could just be Martin Lawrence in the Big Mama's outfit. It was a black woman. Yeah. It could have been. It was a black woman. It was Terry Crews. <laughs> no, but it is it is a truly beautiful thing. I feel like I have more love in my life yeah. than I've ever thought possible, and it, it makes me weep sometimes. No, people have no clue how much we're actually in, involved in this, uh, yeah, based on the podcast, because we we you know we do jokes here. We but, do jokes, uh, but it's truly... A, it's a beautiful thing. Before we do this, it's like a very wholesome event. Yeah, I, I, I live with the love of my life. I have a beautiful niece, a beautiful nephew, and another niece on the way, and I, I just feel... Uh, I never knew you could feel this much love in yeah. existence, and it, and it truly makes me so happy. I didn't blow my fucking brains out two years ago, dude. It turns me into a babbling fool. I cry in front of like like a black I, woman I, in, my, I, in the Uber. I'm mm. not kidding. I, I I felt like crying now for a second. It's a it's a really beautiful thing. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I just fucking wept in front of her bassinet this morning. Yeah. Because she's just squeaking. That's great. She squeaks. I call her the squeakopotamus. I know. Mm-hmm. I come she over. Just, she loves to smile and squeak. I come over. I just stare at her for yeah. fucking 30 minutes like an idiot. You know? She kind of looks like me. She does look like you. She I looks do. like you and Katie a lot, like mixed perfectly. I love getting sent a picture of her in between you, like manically sending uh like screenshots of comics you want to be killed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It will be if you scroll through our group chat photos, like one at a time. It's like beautiful pictures of your daughter followed by a guy then, I, I haven't talked to since 2014. And you and Ben being like, I mean, literally just kill yourself. And then he posts a picture of his daughter. He's like, squeak. And I'm like, well, that's an interesting balance. Dichot- it's a dichotomy. <laughs> It's like you have to be so vicious so you can be gay for yeah, your daughter. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Be, uh, I'm like I'm like a coin. You know, I only got two sides. You know mm. what I mean? <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Very good. Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did that Uber driver tell you that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baby, you like a coin. Baby, you can weep like a fag in my Uber. That's fine. I can. Baby, tell that's no. fine. You can be a fag all you want. Just don't slam that door. Mm-hmm. I ain't. <laughs> Do not slam Do that. Do not door. slam the door. <laughs> Uber drivers are obsessed with their doors being slammed. Don't slam the door, baby. Don't slam the door. You can be a you can be a homo all you want. Don't you slam that door, you and little just, fag. I, I give every customer a bad review if my dice shake. <laughs> That made me drop the microphone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I saw you wearing those shorts on the last Lemon Party episode. Baby, we need to talk. You baby. got a camel toe and shit. Here's the thing, baby. Adults, we playing chess. These babies playing checkers, baby. <laughs> and I ain't talking about the Chinese kind. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. I'm like crying. Beautiful. I'm like, by the way, I- I, I fucking I love doing the right thing. <laughs> you get all gay. Yeah. Love- you get super like <laughs> white, like guilty and white. Yeah. And I fucking like, like Cat Williams is my favorite comic. I fucking love Pippin Pippin and I'm unbelievable special. <laughs> she's like, honey, I know you didn't watch that. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, honey. I love bigger and blacker. It's okay, honey. No, you do not. You like Louis C.K., honey. It's okay. I love Richard Pryor live in Long Beach. No, honey. You, you, you like when Louis says the N word in that bit. No, I like, I like when Richard Pryor gets on the ground like the dog when the home being invaded. I like, I like when Richard Pryor talks about John Wayne having a heart attack. <laughs> All right, funny, honey. Well, he fucked Marlon Brando in the ass, so we don't talk about him. <laughs> but I, but I, but I just watched Mike Epps on Club Shay Shay. <laughs> honey, you just watched that bit where he does the retarded guy in the club. You do not like Mike Epps. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I love Corey Holcomb. Corey Holcomb podcast is so funny. Honey, you like him because he's racist and hates women, honey. <laughs> That's why you like his ass. I get it. The billiards room in the in the abortion clinic's a great joke. But I, but I feel so mad for when 
Wendy Williams. She's she's losing her mind. Uh, honey, she died. She's dead. She died. <laughs> Didn't Wendy Williams die? No, no, no. She's about to die. All right. She, well, she's yeah. dead to me. She just has that thing now her where brain her died. eyes blink like lizards, where mm. they they don't blink yeah. in a court. So she's getting exactly what she deserves. Yeah, you find Wendy Williams in your front yard now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, oh, honey, yeah. call animal control. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> you see Wendy Williams? You see Wendy Williams on, on your screen door just going like... In a ring cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Holy shit! Oh shit! Best part of chicken. Best, Best part, part of the chicken, chicken right there. Yeah. Best part of chicken. Best part of chicken. <laughs> That's the best part of Chimkin. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have Xavier Moses run the forty. <laughs> best part of Chimkin. <laughs> Xavier Xavier is actually day one of the folds in my neck right now. <laughs> he called it the best part of Chimkin. Xavier, <laughs> that, that that what is his name? Xavier what? I don't know. Xavier, yeah, Xavier he married the fold. In my neck. He married the big pushy in the back of my head. <laughs> I got from me that chimkin. <laughs> the best part of chimkin, the pussy. <laughs> yeah, it's him. It's him facing backwards at a altar. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck! Yeah, one of them married my thigh. Best part of chimkin, one of them right there. My ass. You want to get some real food, Benjamin? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry actually. I'm pretty hungry, and I'm like, fuck. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm like too, too out of shape to podcast. <laughs> I gotta like figure some shit out real quick. Yeah, we're honestly really worried about you, man. Bet butter Jim. Bet butter Jim. Get right. De- Devin down. goes, okay. If you're really overeating, what have you ate today? And I told him everything. And Devin goes, okay. So <laughs> so far today, you haven't had dinner. You've had thirty nine hundred calories. <laughs> can I, can I tell you? And you literally said that, like, actually. <laughs> can I tell you? It not was, in jail. It was so funny. I I was in the bathroom. I walked in on you guys already mid conversation, and I just. I walk in, Ben's, Ben's like, so breakfast, uh, three eggs, some French toast, and uh, an orange juice. And Devin's like, okay, okay. <laughs> you go lunch, a hamburger. He goes, <sighs> and I just started laughing so hard. He said he had, and then, I, and then he goes, I had enchiladas on top of tortilla chips. Yeah, I made not- enchilada nachos. Enchilada, enchilada nachos, which is like nachos on top of nachos. Mm-hmm. And then I watched Katie make you two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And on then, sourdough bread. On sourdough bread. And then you ate a bowl of cereal. And you then did. you had a pack of carrots. I had a whole bag of carrots. It felt cool. Yeah. That's, I just love chomping on it. That's them. some real binge eating when you just need something to stretch your stomach out so yeah. you can feel it. He really, he eats like a horse. I like know. an actual horse. I know. Welcome to the party, pal. And he's been, he, I think he ate this whole... This whole bag of popcorn. No, this is the popcorn that's healthy for you. It's no. called Lesser Evil. No popcorn. No healthy popcorn. Is really that no, no, good. Lesser Evil. You Let, get it at right, Whole Foods. Right, it's nine dollars. Right, right. No, I know. Yeah, the font is made out of bamboo shoots. It's great. <laughs> Best bottom chip. Best bottom chip. And you've had seven Coke you've Zeros. Had, you've had so many Coke Zeros that it's like drinking three regular Cokes. I mean, you you look like Nipsey Hussle if he rode for Coke Zero. <laughs> R.I.P. Nipsey. Rip, yeah. Rip, Ripsy. R.I.P. Nip. <laughs> Ripsy. Damn. Damn. Big, rip, big rip, Ripsy. Rip. That's a little fucked up. Damn. Rip Nip. All right. Well, I think that's about it. I think we've uh, done some good work here. Yeah. I think that could be the main, I honestly. Got, I got seven Big Mac 11s. Very good. About eight uh 38, 38-inch waistbands. <laughs> there we go. I got seven, hem, seven Mac. 99 <laughs> Chalupas with the red dot. It's weird Biggie Small. I mean, I only had two CDs. It's weird he didn't have one song about how much he loved to eat. Mm. He was big as fuck. Yeah, well, a guy yeah. like that probably doesn't want to think about that that much. Yeah. When he thinks about that, he just eats more because he feels bad. <laughs> yeah. He ate rappers for yeah. breakfast. I mean, he also had two wonky eyes. He was a crack baby. He was, like, all <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Ready? Have you seen that picture of him in the studio yeah, with Diddy? His, eye, yeah. his eyes are looking at a bag of Doritos he, and a Diddy yeah. at the same time. He looks, he looks like, like he com- lives in an aquarium in a Chinese <laughs> restaurant. He looks like a chameleon eyeing a fly. 
Ready to fry. Ready to fry. Very good. Very good, Benjamin. Very good, Very Benjamin. Good. Benjamin. Hey, we could keep this going all night, yeah. pal. What about Notorious B.I.G., folks? Huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm right. going, going back, back to California Pizza Kitchen. <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> I'm going, 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 back to California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah. I like it when... <laughs> Yeah, g- g- I like g- it when you make me big popcorns. <laughs> <laughs> give me the fruit roll up. Give me the fruit. Give me the fruit. Give me the fruit. Give me the fruit. Roll ups. Give me the fruit. Give me the fruit. Uh, what, yeah. What's that suicidal one? Where you suicidal to thoughts. Yeah, that one is badass. I love remixes song. of that on YouTube that like shitheads make. Yeah, I played that for my friend on New Year's Eve one time, and he was like, "Dude, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> Stop." Uh, I think that song's so good. I think it's amazing. I love sad music. All right, mm-hmm. we gotta get out of here so I can go. Uh, I can go to a Luby's and get the Blue Plate Special. What? <laughs> Do you not know what Luby's is? What is Luby's? It's a buffet. There's a, buffet Lu- in there's a Luby's around here? Oh, it's not here, though. Yeah, I want to go to the one in Santa Fe because Cormac would eat at it every day because mm. he was a cheap fuck. And mm. then people would go up to him and be like, can you sign my copy of Blood Meridian? And he'd be like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> yeah. he'd sign I'll it. kill you. <laughs> he'd sign it. Best part of the gym. Yeah. <laughs> Cormac McCarthy. And he's like, no, I'm just kidding. I will sign no, it. No, I, I will sign it. Can I fuck your wife? <laughs> I'm into some weird <laughs> shit. I'm going with McCarthy, motherfucker. <laughs> he's a motherfucker. Why did he talk like that? I wrote Child of God, motherfucker. <laughs> he goes, welcome to the road, bitch. He goes, yeah, blood meridian, bitch. He does the blood thing with his hands. Yeah, blood meridian, bitch. Blood meridian, motherfucker. Bitch, blood. Man, all they uh-huh. pretty, all they yeah. pretty horses, I fucked them. <laughs> shit, yeah. I'm Cormac motherfucker McCarthy. Ooh, yeah, Child of God and shit. Mm. Then we gonna represent... Yeah. The outer dork. Yeah. Outer dork. <laughs> outer dork. Outer dork. Very good. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Very good. We get it. Look at Blood. I think, we, get, I think we can end the podcast now. Uh, Patreon.com slash lemon party. <laughs> I'm so hot right now. I'm so hot and, and s- we still have to read copy. I feel like I've thrashed around in like a popcorn machine too. If, yeah. if well, insane. you have. You <laughs> ate a bunch yeah, of you, popcorn. You are a popcorn machine. Patreon.com slash lemon party for more content. Devin at Hate Watch Pod. Jace at Sad Drawings by Jace. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. God bless. I fell in love with a Mexican girl Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina Music would play and Polino would whirl Blacker than night were the eyes of Polino Wicked and evil while casting a spell My love was deep for this Mexican maid I was in love, but in vain I could tell One night a while, young cowboy came